Hi, my name is Anders Wernersson. I am uh, the product manager for our versatile range at Volvo Penta. My name is Roy Kampe. I'm the chief technology officer for CMB Tech. Welcome. It is a cost-effective solution and it's very robust. It's relying on a diesel engine. So in fact, what we see here is a common diesel engine, which is top-notch at the market uh, that's being offered by Volvo Penta, which we as CMB Tech have equipped with the hydrogen injection system. Main advantage of using hydrogen as a fuel is that you save on the carbon emissions. So benefit of dual fuel is that you can save on emissions in the dual fuel setup, but if there's no hydrogen available, you can still run as you would be arriving uh, on a typical diesel engine. So we are starting with our D8 stage 5, 8 liter engine. Uh, we are uh, developing together with you and then we will see. I think this can be uh, interesting for a various type of applications. I think for port handling equipment is one of them we have identified where you have a lot of hydrogen availability in Europe. Also where you don't have access to electricity, for example, in forest or in construction sites. I think this can be a very good setup for that type of application. If you look to the fuel, one kilogram of hydrogen is, let's say, equivalent to 3.4 liters of diesel. So what we can store on a vehicle or an application today with diesel is very difficult to match with hydrogen as a fuel. Therefore, we believe the dual fuel is the ideal kickstarting technology, bringing the chicken and egg together to the same situation. And we are very happy we can develop this together uh, with our good partnership. I think we have some exciting projects ahead of us. As any fuel, we have to take care of, of the molecule. Hydrogen is not more dangerous compared to LNG or LPG as a fuel, but you have to be, let's say, quite um, knowing what you are doing with the technology. Some features we have included into the design is that we only work with a low pressure system. Hydrogen below 10 bar is quite safe to use. Furthermore is that we aspirate the hydrogen. If there is any event that we have, let's say, some concerns on safety, the system automatically switch off, closes all the hydrogen tanks so that your equipment is still running on full diesel. So taking all of this into consideration, I'm sure everyone is uh, curious about how it affects performance. The beauty of the dual fuel setup is that we will actually achieve the same performance figures that we have on the regular diesel engine. So we will have the same power and torque curve as we have when we run on diesel alone. Also worth mentioning, I think, is also that we don't affect other emissions. So we keep the particles and the NOx emissions under control, even when we run on hydrogen. What we see is that uh, mainly if we are running in dual fuel, we save not only on CO2, we also save on, on the particles, we save on the, the NOx emissions. And we even have a positive effect on the after treatment. So we see that on performance point of view, fuel economy is same as, as, as before. Even at some point, we are even pushing a bit of limits because if we aspirate the hydrogen, it results in a much, let's say, complete combustion of the diesel that we have. So we see very positive effects. Also on the after treatment, there is no, let's say, degradating effect by using the hydrogen. So even the AdBlue mixing into the SCR on diesel has a positive effect. So we have, let's say, tested the technology together over the past, let's say, four years. We have done quite some trials, done a lot of testing in, in uh, dyno test cells. We feel comfortable that we are now ready to approach with pilot projects, the market, gain up experience on the after sales, how to get it working into the field. And then together we are ready for full throttle upscaling what we want to do. I think it will be very interesting. I think first of all, it's a low threshold for, for our customers to get into a new technology. I think uh, the amount of work and the amount of investment is quite limited for what you get. You get a good saving when in terms of CO2. And I think the most beneficial of all is that if you run out of hydrogen, you still can run the engine on diesel. And by that, you secure the full uptime for the customer. Quite often, we hear feedback from people who looked even today uh, at this engine. We feel that there are so, let's say, uh, warm feelings for its, um, its future ready. So even if there is no infrastructure for refueling the hydrogen, you can start using this engine, this platform, 
and an anticipation of the hydrogen infrastructure that is coming. So Correct. if you need to order today equipment, which will last for the next 10 years, you can make it future proof by selecting this type of engine, this kind of technology, and then you will see the infrastructure will grow. So I think this is in fact the beginning of a snowball effect and this technology can grow further. We now have dual fuel. I cannot talk too much about it, but there's other technologies that even on the same platforms, we can increase performance, increase emission savings. And I think this is the beauty that we can rely on a proven supplier, proven network, proven after sales, and deliver something which you can rely on. And then at the end, that's where our customers are choosing our technology. I think it's really interesting. And it also shows that the combustion engine is not dead. There is a future with uh, combustion technologies. What we are doing is that we are using our legacy. We have developed combustion engines for several years, and we see that we are still developing into the future, into um, climate smart uh, technologies and into carbon neutral uh, technologies. We should not underestimate how much experience in this legacy is implemented. This is not something you do overnight, shifting towards uh, clean fuels directly. This is the same diesel engine, which is now using clean fuels. And in fact, from physical point of view, it's just the same, eh? Instead of diesel producing heat and pressure to get mechanical power, it's now coming mainly from the hydrogen. But the fact of the process of transforming that pressure and heat into mechanical power, what our customers want, this is the right platform. And I feel really this is a breakthrough technology, and we're happy to do that together with Volvo Penta. I look forward to our partnership. Do you have more questions about the hydrogen dual fuel technology? Do you want to learn more about this? Please let us know in the comment section below.